This is Danny again. I'm trying to solve the problem with the high voltage disconnect, which is potentially the most dangerous thing that can happen. You overcharge your, your batteries and then they kind of become dangerous when you're on the boat. So I, I wanted to put two layers in and I've been looking for high um, voltage disconnect relays running off my Arduino. Um, and so what I was thinking about doing was just using um, the uh, one of the switches on the uh, low voltage disconnect relay um, to be able to actuate and actually turn off. If if I sensed high voltage, I could just use one of my my uh, Arduino relays and trigger that. Um, but I'm going to go over this uh, Sterling Pro Latch relay that I had bought before and see if I can use that as my um, my high voltage disconnect. So here's a brief schematic of um, what I'm looking at. So I've got my regular um, shore charger and my Balmar 614 and um, that's going to charge my battery to battery charger. Um, and I've got a Sterling um, battery to battery charger. But um, and then I've got solar panels that are going to charge that are going to kind of bypass the B2B charger and go right to the um, my lithium battery. So I've got um, a high voltage disconnect here that I'm I'm uh, considering putting in. Uh, of course, I do have a BMS over here that will disconnect the ground. It's supposed to be monitoring high voltage disconnect. Um, and low voltage disconnect on the cell and on the pack level. And you could, I've already um, showed you a video here about the smart battery protect I'm going to use here. Um, and then, of course, the loads are here. So you're going to eat this. The, um, this does have, the, the Victron does have a high um, voltage protection on it, but it's, it's only really to protect these DC loads. Um, I could have a I could misprogram the charger, or the charger could fail, and then it would it would still be able to uh, put over voltage to um, my batteries here. So um, what I was thinking about doing was I have a Arduino uh, Arduino that I was going to program to actuate this um, this input, which has um, uh, got to do with um, the starter. So I was going to. I was going to hit the starter um, relay button and it, it was going to um, just shut this relay offline. And then I was also going to have another level of vo voltage protection, um, low voltage protection in here. I was going to set it um, very low. Uh, so what what right now my BMS is, my, is, is set to trigger um, for over voltage. Um, it's a 3.7 cell level over voltage in a 14.8 um, pack level and then it recovers at 13.6 and 14.4 um, the sterling right now if just out of the box is set to trip at 15.5 okay so that does give you a little bit of extra level of um, protection so um, I think um, the you know, it would be nice to be able to use the low voltage um, relays because they're very efficient um, and, and into possibly a high voltage disconnect situation. And then it is nice to have other layers. So you got the BMS layer and maybe I've got a $60 BMS. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. But then I do have um, these kind of autonomous shutoffs planned in. Uh, so that that's I think um, having multiple layers is sort of a good thing. I'm using the Sterling uh, ProLatch R relay now, and you program it with this reed switch by pressing it along the side of the unit there. Uh, so if you want to program it, you have to use these LEDs and the uh, reed switch with um, you got to jumper this um, control wire to ground. So what I have now um, 
well, this, the configuration was, um, I've set it for um, 12, uh, 12 12.5 cutoff with 12.9 on, and it's got a 15.5 um, automatic high voltage shutoff, which isn't, I need to use my Arduino, um, the idea is to use my Arduino right here to um, actuate this wire right here, this S wire, and turn off the switch. Uh, but what we're going to do is just briefly show you the way that this thing works. Uh, right now I've got a lithium battery, a LiPo battery, and it's, um, it's a 13.28 um, and it's connected to this um, out input and, and the the in is connected to my um, power supply so right now um, I'm disconnected from the power supply so what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, turning on the power supply and um, you can kind of see there's a load on the um, the uh, the power supply side. This uh, LED is also going. And so what it's doing is it's um, it's it's connected the um, the two together. This this uh, now the um, lithium battery is reading higher, right? So I'm going to disconnect this um, the power supply. So it went away, and um, now I'm running the load. <clears throat> I'm, they're still connected. The this in and out are connected, but and I'm running a load here. But my um, my voltmeter is in some serious trouble here. I'm running my pack down to because of the load. I'm running down to 12. So um, this Sterling is um, getting ready to probably do a disconnect and it did just do a disconnect. So how can we use this relay uh, to disconnect um, the load if we wanted to program um, one of these modules in the Arduino to um, sense um, the voltage so I could sense voltage on this Arduino unit here um, I could sense the voltage and I could actuate this and can and hit this um, control wire here how could we do that on this um, sterling system so uh, what I have here is a, a, a wire connected to um, the the s terminal and what I'm going to do is just uh, put um, just put 12 volts on this and this uh, simulates a starter being um, actuated okay it just went off um, so I think what's what's happened is um, the the two this it just switched off because of the starter. So I'm going to turn off this supply, okay? And um, you kind of see that the load um, is not running anymore because these two connections are no longer together. So um, the problem is that I ran into is when I switch the power supply on. <coughs> Uh, you'd expect that um, it would it would uh, connect the two, but um, instead, um, what it continues to do is um, just just do this error state flash. So I can't ever re I can't recover from uh, by from pressing this this button for connecting this button. Uh, so it's kind of a problem. It just never connects up the two um, the, the two things. The only way that I've found to um, to reset this is to um, uh, take you know have no power here which I have here 
and um, take the power off of here and that's the only way that I've been able to reset it so it's not very effective um, to be used as a, um, a relay I think it's better to go do the smart battery protect if you want to just use a relay a cheap relay you could use the normal battery protect and use that for um, your relay shut off anyway that's what I found out thank you so in the smart battery protect and the battery protect you could use this remote switch right here this remote um, connector that um, is jumpered into the on position but you could use this as a separate relay to be able to shut off um, high voltage if you were to use some other device to monitor it so as far as the Sterling Pro Latch it seems like it's kind of a hassle to program the high and low voltages because you have to go through LEDs there's no display and um, so compared to using the Smart Battery Protect, it's, it's Smart Battery Protect, whoa, way better. Uh, and I just had it laying around and I wanted to just use the remote manual, um, you know, switch to actuate it. And it turns out when you actuate it, it's just, I can't, I can't figure out a way to unactuate it. Uh, without powering down the the lipo side of it, which that would be terrible. I mean, in a way, high voltage isn't going to happen very much, and if it does, you probably you know there is something good about the feature, I guess. Um, if I had high voltage, I guess I'd be scratching my head and trying to figure out you know why I had it, you know, and uh, so I guess it might be good if it just, you know, went off and, and I couldn't reset it without disconnecting the batteries. I mean, I guess. Um, and it's just, I'm using it just for my DC sub panel and I'll be able to, you know, also use my um, lead acid batteries for that. So I guess it would work. Uh, but I'm not that impressed with how it works. And it costs kind of a lot, but it is really smart. It's a super smart device, right? As all Sterling products are, but uh, just really hard to configure. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video.